Hey, 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 I'm Chris. I'm Drew. We are Cheap Ashes. Coming to you tonight from downtown Chandler, Arizona. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. We haven't been here in a while. It's been yeah. a long time. We're coming to you from the patio at Puro Cigars. Uh, nice bar, cigar shop. Nice little private club in the back. Uh, we're sitting outside tonight. It's a beautiful evening. And the only downfall to it is the smell of barbecue wafting up from below us. They've got their smokers like right down there. And it's ridiculous. Oh, I can smell the brisket right yeah. now. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, thank goodness I just ate. By the way, downtown Chandler really has some cool deals, you know, during the week. Tonight, Laura and I went to uh, Murphy's Law, Irish pub. Two for one uh, chips, uh, fish and chips. It's 15 bucks, two for one, 750 each you can eat. Yeah, you know, had a drink and eat. And you're out of there under fifty bucks. You yeah. know, a couple drinks and food. Good night. Good night. So, uh, what are we smoking tonight, brother? Okay. So, uh, it's a few days late, but we're uh, we're smoking the uh, Skinny Monster from uh, South Hawaii. This is the Wolf. Um, if you can see there, I know it's kind of dark, so unfortunately, forgive us. It's what we have to work with this evening, but. Anyways, a little Petit Lancero. Great stick, man. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. You know, I've only burned about that much, as you can see. I thought it was going to be a little bit stronger than it is. It's kind of a nice, mild to medium. Well, not mild, but a, a solid medium, medium stick. Medium. Maybe a little plus medium plus, yeah. Uh, I'm not, And again, I'm on a full stomach and a couple mm -hmm. beers, a couple drinks in. So, right. you know... If you're gonna smoke something like this, try not to do it on an empty stomach. You, know, you really don't want to go medium plus, medium full on an empty stomach. Unless you do, and that's up to you. Just saying. Done it. Yeah. Done full body on an empty stomach. That was smart. Right. Laying on a couch, sucking down cokes to try and get my wits about me. Right. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> back little, in the day. A little sugar in you. Well, the crazy thing is, you, you think about back in the day, back at the tinderbox when it was open. It was the Ashton VSG. Yeah. And that was considered like a super strong cigar at the time. Yeah. Because nobody had really gotten outside of Cuba, obviously. You know, it was all Dominican, Dominican, Dominican. Then all of a sudden you start seeing some Honduran tobacco, some Nicaraguan tobacco in the 90s finally start to come through. Uh, what were those original? Those were all Dominicans still, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, whatever they were using, though, was like an ass kicker at the time. I remember Booza yeah. gave me one. He goes, you need to try this. And I'm like, oh, it's an Ashton. He goes, uh, yeah, wait, did you eat? I'm like, no, nah, it's an Ashton. He goes, okay. About 20 minutes later, he's bringing me a Coca-Cola, cracking it. She goes, you need to drink this. I was green. I was on the couch, back in the private club, about to throw up. I was like, holy shit, what did I just smoke? Right. You know, and you never really, when you're smoking, want to get to that point. <laughs> We've all been there, but you don't yeah. ever want to go back to that shit and, again. And once you uh, do it once, you don't want to do it again. Um, and stupid me did it again, not yeah. that long ago. Um, what did I have in Entrada? Yeah. It was my first stick in the morning. Not a smart move. I'll kick you right in the teeth. Yeah. Kick me in the teeth and the balls and the stomach and the head. It kicked me everywhere it could, I could be kicked. And I probably should have kicked myself in the ass for doing it. You know better, but eh, yeah. you think to yourself, I can do this. What the hell? Why not? No, not a smart move. <laughs> what are you drinking? Well, I've got some just basic coffee. So this is uh, Puro's coffee um, at this point. So, one second here. Uh, Puro's coffee. So they put a little cinnamon in it, which makes bad coffee really good. It does. If you've never done it, we do it at home sometimes. And, you know, I think they said they get their coffee at Walmart. It's the yeah. Walmart brand. And Walmart it, or Costco or something. Costco or something. Yeah. And, you know, we drink Folgers at home, which I actually like. But you can put cinnamon in it, and it really just kicks up the flavor to it. Uh, and there's some stuff that Trader Joe's sells, Whole Foods sells, excuse me. 
it's like this awake stuff that you put in your coffee. Yeah. It's a bunch of different <laughs> spices. That, that'll make shitty coffee decent too. Nice. Doesn't make anything great, but it makes it yeah. decent. It's drinkable. It's drinkable. So speaking of drinkable, tonight, I know we've reviewed Buffalo Trace. We've not done the Buffalo Trace old fashioned. And uh, Sergio here at Puro makes a damn good old fashioned with Buffalo Trace. And again, if you forget, Buffalo Trace is six bucks a, a shot all day, every day here. It's their well bourbon. Yeah. Uh, crazy to think that BT is their well bourbon, but good on them for being able to do it. Uh, you know, there's so many different ways to prepare an old fashioned. You can do it with rice, you can do it with bourbon, you know. Um, I don't know. I, I like it either way. Uh, a Buffalo Trace old fashioned to me is pretty damn good. They've got the Luxardo cherries in there, you know, you can see there. Um, but nice expensive cherries. Uh, yeah, makes it a little fancy. Makes it a little fancy, gives it the syrup really uh, thick and almost a, uh, what are we thinking up here? Um, Molasses. Here. Molasses, thank you. Yeah. Read my mind, see? We work well together. Uh, it's got a little molasses characteristic to it with the uh, consistency. Kind of like motor oil. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Doesn't it taste like motor oil, looks like motor oil, has a consistency of motor oil. But, you know. Mmm. And it's damn tasty. And as you can tell, we're outside. You hear that? Um, God knows what that was. Pallet or something being dropped. Who knows? Yeah. We got the parking garage right next to it. I, I, I'm sure we're going to hear some idiot yell here soon. Yeah. You know, walking down here, I almost knocked a kid on his ass, riding their skateboards by us on the sidewalks. I was pissed. I'm like, get off your fucking board, man. What? I'm like, fuck you. Get off your board. Yeah. You know, we were walking right by Pedal House. It goes like, it's getting really bad. Yeah. I'm like, then fucking do something about it. Call the cops. Do something. Jesus, it's a city ordinance. You can't do it on the sidewalks. You know, if I had it, it, if my back wasn't hurting, I probably would have stepped on one of their boards and watched them just go, wee and say, oops, sorry. Shouldn't have been on the sidewalk. I didn't see you. Mm -hmm. Well, bummer. Sucks to be you. No, nah, but um, a couple things about downtown Chandler. Uh, if you're from the area, they did those uh, patios that they built. Yeah. And then for COVID, then all of a sudden it seems that, no, you can't do that anymore. Did you ever find out why they did that? Was there any, really any reason? I think it just had to do with the, the parking situation, which is funny because we have a giant parking garage here, but... Uh, and another one that way. Yeah. So there's two giant parking garages on either side of downtown, and I'm sure um, people with money bent because they didn't want to walk, so, yeah. you know, the money talks and the bullshit walks, and we're a bullshitter, so we walk. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. but um, it, you know, we we spoke about downtown Chandler, and it just keeps growing. Yeah, just keeps going and going and going. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it before, but you know, what was it? Five, six years ago, when I lived down this direction, um, there was like nothing down here. There was a couple bars, and that was it. Uh, it was pretty much a ghost town. And then in the last five years, it has like exploded. It's. It is, you know, and just for you beer guys and gals, you got The Perch, which is a great local brewery. Santan. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty well-known one. That's a pretty well-known one. You know, and then you've got multiple whiskey bars now. Yeah. Plus you have Pedal House, too. Oh, fuck. Pedal House. Yeah. Duh. And I just mentioned it, and I forget to say it. My bad, guys. If you're watching, don't castrate me in the comments. Um, you got uh, Bourbon Jacks. Uh, their whiskey selection is off the hook, just walls and walls of whiskey. Um, live country music all the time over there. Uh, Murphy's Irish Law, Murphy's Law Irish Pub, where we ate tonight. They have live music pretty much every night. Pedal House is starting to get their live music back up and going. They have an upstairs that's kind of like an outdoor seating. It's got a bar up there and everything. It's really pretty cool up there. Um, Get Joe Taco. Yep. They deliver down here to all the places that don't sell food, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's a, it's a neat, it's a neat downtown structure. Yeah. And I really feel like 
it was done the right way. They didn't just say, oh, let's just put whatever comes in. They really took their time, looked at what they had. There's um, DC Steakhouse, which is off the hook. It's um, one of the better steakhouses I've been to. You know, pretty pricey as most steakhouses is, uh, are nowadays. But it's, you get what you pay for. You know, especially with that place. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and and there's just little mom and pop shops all the way down here. You know, it's well, really. That's, you know, that's like the difference between here and if you're once again if you're in the area, go to Gilbert, go downtown Gilbert. A lot of it's chains or like multiple location places. Come to downtown Chandler. There's only like one or two places that have multiple locations. Everything else is kind of that one-off. Pedal House might be the only one. Uh, Santan. They have another one over in Phoenix now. Um, I mean, but they, that's their hub. Santan's yeah. been. I, I want to say that Santan is what made downtown. Oh yeah, absolutely. Them coming down here, them putting that brewery up, yeah. who did yeah. a world of good for the downtown yeah. structure. Um, it's a it's a neat city to come down and just hang. Yeah, you know well, we're down here. The hotel that they just built here too, which I mean that came out of came nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's right across the street. You also have the San Marcos. Which is a, kind of a Chandler icon. Yeah. You know, a nice golf course if you're into golf and you want to come out here. So if you come out, visit, uh, especially this time of year, yeah. if you're from it the Midwest or the right East, yeah. this is a beautiful time. Um, it's in the 80s still right now, uh, getting down to the 50s at night. Uh, in a couple weeks, well, at the end of next week, it should be done with the 80s, stuck in the 70s, 60s, yeah. you know, 30s, 40s at night, which is, if you're from the the Midwest or the East, yeah, our low is what your highs are most of the yeah. time, so, uh, and it's beautiful, it's sunny, we don't get rain, you know, we're the desert, yeah. so. We already had a rainy season, which is always funny because it's always the hottest time of the year is when we get the most rain. Well, the monsoon, yeah. you know, and anybody that's been in a nasty monsoon storm is, it's it's pretty violent man yeah. the winds get up but it right now if you are thinking of traveling somewhere on a golf trip take your wife significant other on just to get away you know come out to arizona it's beautiful out here you've got scottsdale you've got Chandler, you've got gilbert you've got downtown phoenix which we haven't even really been down there yet to talk about how big and booming downtown phoenix oh, is yeah. getting now the infrastructure at downtown, they turned it from literally ghetto heaven into a gorgeous place to want to go. Yeah. There's so many cool things down there to do. Um, you can get out. I, I mean, shit, you can drive for two and a half, three hours, get to the mountains and be in snow in a couple, in about two, three weeks. Yeah. You know, so it, it's really a, uh, yeah, it's a great, great place. Say hi, Serge. Hey, guys, Sergio, the one who made our drinks, great shit. Um, so yeah, man, it, it's Arizona this time of year. This is why we live. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I mean, shit. You you went to the gym tonight. You walked into the gym in a shorts and a t-shirt, and you walked out in shorts and a t-shirt. Yep. Do that in New York right now. Yeah. Do that in Chicago. Yeah. Do it in Kansas, where you're from. No yeah. way, you're not gonna be able to do it. You're gonna be wrapped up, you're gonna be a sweats, a jacket, freezing your ass off when you yeah. go in, freezing your ass off when you come out. So it's it's a great place to live eight months out of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Even those other four months are still great. It's just a little uh, warm. So. <laughs> a little warm. Yeah. 115 to 120. Yeah. Just a little warm. Yeah, people say, oh, how long did it take you to get used to the uh, the summers? You know. I haven't I've been here, what, up. let's see, 33 years now, and I'm not used yeah. to it. So, yeah, I just aged myself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, you know, tonight's all about downtown Chandler, uh, talking about what we have down here. Uh Puro is, you know, it's a Tuesday night. We got lucky. There's not a lot of people here. Uh, I'm sure it'll pick up the later it gets. They're open late. Um, but, uh, la, final call. What are you thinking? Well, I mean, the cigar, it was good. Uh, the original release was good. This one's uh, great just because of the petite Lancero size. Um, just that solid medium. It's real smooth. A lot of flavor to it. It is very tough white. I mean, 
it, you can't say that enough. It's extremely Tatawaii-esque. Mm -hmm. and, and I think every one of these skinnies that I've had, you you could unband it, give it to somebody, and they're like, oh, that's Tatawaii. Yeah. Anybody that smokes it. Yep. You know, they just have that great characteristic to it. Yeah, I'm, I, this is one of my favorite little sticks. Uh, always been a fan of the Monster. Really a big fan of the Skinny, just because the flavoring just is so, mm, so delicious. So yeah, that's a definite gimme for me. How yeah. about your, yeah, I mean your coffee. It's, it's coffee. It's, it's coffee. Yeah. You're gonna drink it. Um, and guys, they do, they have crap beer, spirits, They've got a full bar down here. Um, Buffalo Trace again, well bourbon, six bucks all day, every day. They have Sazerac Rye, seven bucks all day, every day. So you can take your pick. You can do Buffalo Trace, old fashioned, Sazerac, old fashioned. Um, they're gonna make it to your liking. You're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and again, pretty knowledgeable staff. Lemon. Absolutely. You know, we had Jeremy on one of our shows. Yeah. Jeremy got that humidor rocking right now mm -hmm. and let's oh my gosh we got to talk about it they're leaving yep. they're going on a world tour yep. in january so that's kind of cool you know yeah maybe have him uh on before he leaves yeah i'm talking one, about one what awesome. you know what him and evan is going to be doing yeah. on their trip so jeremy if you're watching reach out to us we'd love to have you back on before you go you know kind of before the holiday <laughs> crazy gets happening over here and um yeah so like subscribe follow us on instagram you'll see the yep. banner at the bottom yep. you can cheap, see it cheap underscore ashes and um you know hey good night we're having a good time yeah we will see you next week Yo.